What's up everybody, the doctor is in. Here we are in sunny Daytona Beach for Community Effort Orlando in Daytona, otherwise known as CEO. And today I have a panel of amazing people as we are gonna cut to them. We do have none other than Brad Muse, St. Cola, Casa Bunch there on the edge. And right now we're gonna be going over the Street Fighter V Championship Edition top eight players because who else would we be talking about this weekend? They have put in so much work to get here. Now, guys, let's just let's go through some of the players that we got right now. Yeah, so I mean, off the top at the very start of the bracket, uh, Endemic's Shine. Endemic's Shine. Whoa. You know, it's weird to see a shine up in this bracket. You know, another top eight spot saw it CD. That's cool. But what we're seeing a lot more is not the code, but the Ibuki. The Ibuki, which I'm, I'm surprised by. We sat down uh, for the top 48 and uh, Jake and I were talking about how, you know, we're trying to plan out this matchup around the Cody, and it's a surprise to see the Ibuki, and given Cody's relative strength in this patch, how much people are talking about him, mm -hmm. to see the swap over to the Ibuki is something that I'm intrigued by. I I'm actually really curious why it feels like, because Chris also representing a lot of Ibuki, we're seeing a lot more of that character. I think part of that might be because of what we're on. I'm going to be real with you. Mm -hmm. Having a hit confirm with uh, on PlayStation takes a lot of work, and to get solid with that, even though we've seen Shine practice on a stream, you can switch over to a Buki, you can go aerial with it with the Ace Kunai and stuff like that. You start with the mix, uh, you know, with the V-Trigger. So I think it's maybe feels comfortable with that more maybe. so than the Cody, but we could see that in the top eight spot. She going up against, who is he going up against? What's the next character? He's going up against Men RD. Ooh, Ooh. Dilo Mio. Uh, you don't have to say anything about that guy, but I will say something about this matchup. Both of these gentlemen are very starved for a win. It's been a while for, for both of these gentlemen. So um, I think this tournament means a lot to both of them. I mean, it always means a lot to them, but like it's time for them to prove that they they can break that barrier, the, you know, the IDOM level, the, the punk level of, uh, of gameplay. So. Let's see what they so do. So, like, both of these players, though, they've, they've both shown multiple characters already this event. Yeah. I mean, Mena's been playing Luke a lot. Uh, when he lost Luke, he specifically made the change to Birdie. Yeah. So weird. Seeing the Birdie pick, well, so what was wild about the Birdie pick is he switched over to Birdie, but then he literally only used four moves. He mm -hmm. used Crouching Jab, Crouching Strong Anti-Air, Standing Roundhouse Crush Counter, and EX Bullhead. And that is all that he did. For that birdie. Uh, well, he did do sweep, but as soon as I got punished, he was like, I'm done. I'm not going to use sure, that. But sure. you're right. The only use of four buttons and, uh, and that was it. the wall. But I feel like he used that, or he picked that character because he felt more solidified in that matchup. Because he's played years and years of birdie. Even when birdie was at his weakest, and yeah, he's still pretty weak, um, he's played that matchup for years upon years. And that sure. history, that legacy, allowed to get that victory. So I really like that he has this repertoire of characters. He's got a toolkit of characters he can go to. Luke, birdie. Sakura came Sakura, out this weekend, too. Mika. It, yo, Cammy also as well. Got ball wrong. Play everybody. Karen. Karen. But yes, too. Karen. The, yeah, he has a Karen. But the 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 theme that I definitely wanted to touch on that matchup is uh, is is comfort. It's comfort rather. Mm -hmm. um, those, those players definitely play how they feel in the moment. Uh, that's why you're gonna see a Buki from time to time. That's why you may see Jury from time to time. That's why you're sitting there scratching your head thinking why is. Why is Shine shelfing arguably one of the best characters in the game? Same with Mena and, and Luke. And you're just like, wait, why, why, are they, why are they going to characters that they haven't touched in a long time? It's purely on comfort into the matchup. Uh, this late into the meta of a fighting game, it's no longer about you know what the character can do, but it's it's no longer about the car; it's about the driver, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, so, right, right. So it's now, like, now, yeah. now the, these these players are trying to show you know what they're capable of, and they they want to they want to die on their shield essentially, because mm -hmm. like I said, they starved for for a win. This is the time. Someone who's not starved for a win, and you've already mentioned them so far, mm. is uh, I don't. <laughs> Super strong player <laughs> has been able to make the W happen in the past, and. You know, that, that is the next up in line here, right? The next Winner's Finals match yes. is going to be that Idom punk matchup. Yeah, so, I mean, Idom an easy tournament favorite in any tournament you tune into. Uh, we've, I, I mean, I feel like we've barely seen the Poison this weekend, which is funny because I feel like the last couple of times I've watched Idom, it's like, it's, it's the Poison predominantly, and then we see the Laura. That's it's been I'm hot and heavy on the Laura this week, uh, disrespecting on some people. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, 
it's been explosive and volatile, and he's looking in, in real strong form. And it's like you, you don't you don't have to say anything. It's just, it, if items on the top eight, that's it. Full that's stop. It. You know you know exactly what you're gonna get. And I mm-hmm. feel like it's very rare that you see him not firing on the cylinders that he's firing on. That said, when someone's firing cylinders like Punk, could be wrapped like that. You see what played so many times the last time they played. Uh, I believe, at, like at a high level, was it CPT, was the finals that they had, since the finals, and it was punk, excuse me, at victory. It's going to be another it's a character. You see the poison and Laura versus Punk, where we close like these bank lines. We just saw him play Ken to get in, in the top eight spot, and that Ken, talking about disrespectful, man woke up super to seal it, and if we're gonna wake up with violence, that's the best way, he took down Kava, uh, put him down the losers, and uh, so Punk and one of those people was, he really, Cares and really wants to win, he can do the duty. So I'm curious to see how they're gonna how they're gonna fight. You know, Idom is one of those cats that you know he's like a machine. But you know, those two have gone back and forth. I yeah. think they're like 50 50 in terms of, of wins. I gotta check if he's a combo for sure, that one. But, but the, that's probably what about, that close but, that. Like, Let us know about, in the comments. What about for the wins that matter though? The wins that matter? The one. The one wins that matter. The one wins. Yeah, he did win CPT uh, finals 2019. Was Idom. However, 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 when it comes to overall wins and things like that, when sure. they play each other, maybe that's the win that certifies you as like a top level champion, something like that. Not saying I, or Punk is not a champion, but gives you the ring for capital. All right, look. But as a but, New Yorker, but okay, when it comes okay. to as a player, no, as, a there, player there. as a player, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I think they're about even. And, might be seeing a pretty close match. Listen, but but go on, give yeah, your bias. Yeah, yeah, give your bias. No, no, no. Give your bias. I'm I'm gonna give it to him straight because as a, as a New Yorker, <laughs> I'm a little tired of us leaning on the on the 2019 win. Like he did what he did, but that was what we're talking four, maybe five metas ago. If we want to talk about consistency, you have to look at Idom right now. Like mm-hmm. like yeah, sure, Punk won Texas Showdown, but yeah, sure, Idom won Combo Breaker, and I think it's safe to say which was the harder tournament. Um, that's just facts, no, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and um, yeah, my, my the the one way that, that I separate those two because they, in my eyes, just my opinion, they are number one and number two, arguably in the world. Um, I think you might be uh, right. <laughs> I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just looking at the, at the data, mm-hmm. and like there's only a handful of players that can contest those two. Uh, but I have to give the edge to Idom. Like he's he's consistent. Edge where he yeah. where he okay. goes, he's a threat, and it, it, it's not a threat for top eight. It's it's a threat for top one. Yeah. I can't say the same about Punk right now. No, that's valid. Cause, cause some some days some days you get top one Punk, other days you get top sixteen Punk. I don't know what I'm gonna get tomorrow, but I do know that the Laura showed up. Uh, poison could show up. Poison could show up. Mm-hmm. We we definitely seen what Poison can do to to, to 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 Punk on several occasions. You look back at ECT the Pit. You look back at like you said Capcom Cup years ago. You look as recent as when he played against Kava at Combo Breaker. It was it was down to the wire, but he stayed true. So listen, Punk, show up, baby. So, uh, do you have a thought? No, nope, that's it. Let's move the losers. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, so I'm actually going to stick on that New York thread a little bit and actually kind of go out of order here because we also have Kudo versus Brian F. New York. Said New York. New for York. Kudo. Yes, yes. Bro. Yes. This, this, this yes. permanent. This, his flag this, is yes. Japan, though. Sure, but where is he? Uh-huh. 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 That's that, a, like, look, man, I, I wrote down, I wrote down <laughs> with him. <laughs> that's a little racist, <laughs> honestly. What does he mean? Japanese-American player, man. <laughs> he yeah. put the flag himself. He got a Metro card. <laughs> I don't see him wearing tips. What do you? I don't care. <laughs> is he saying big ball when he's walking around? No, we taught him better. Okay, good, good. Damn. Good. All right. <laughs> Turns out there's a uniform. He ain't been conscripted all the way yet. Yeah, Kudo. Uh, I mean, you just watch Kudo play. It's just like, damn, this guy's just solid. Mm-hmm. He is. He is just. I, every time that I have watched him play, I've just walked away from it like, damn, mm. he is solid. And I, I mean, dropping down into losers where he did. Uh, you know, I, I would have expected a little bit uh, farther on the winner side, but still making it up into this top eight, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to see uh, how he's gonna match up here against Brian M. So I think that Kudo has gotten very used to, I wanna say, the tendencies of our region, um, of our play styles, and these things that we may do that may seem kind of wild, but uh, 
have some reasoning behind it, even if they are risky. Uh, he's starting to get used to it as he's moving through the bracket. I've seen him deal with Justin Kidd and sent him out. Uh, I think he's getting more wild in his own right, which I think is, because his first layer is him being so solid. With yeah. stuff like that. But I feel like there's not that, it's not that, um, that level of like Americanism, you know, a little, little unpredictability, little unpredictability. Yeah. And even, even a little bit of that, that DR wildness that we saw also throughout the bracket, some DR wildness, that has to be in there too. He's got some of that spice as the bracket has went on. And I'm going to say it right now, I'm sorry, Brian, but if I had to pick, especially based on the characters, because I don't think Oral's that good, if Brian doesn't think Oral's that good, I think Kudo not only will take it against Brian, but I have Kudo as my pick to do it for the entire tournament. You think so? I think so. If you can stay solid with it and have that little spice. I like Kudo. I like Kudo for top three. I don't know about top one. I think Kudo's gonna take it. But I have Kudo. one I have one question for Kudo. Kudo, you're my New York brethren and all that jazz, but what orals do you have around your family? I don't I don't think you have any New York th admittedly does not have orals. So I'm just trying to figure out how you're gonna be prepared for it such an unorthodox character and um i i think honestly brian might be able to edge him out it like like punk it depends on what kind of brian we're gonna get right you know because like brian is shaky admittedly he, brian you're my brother but like you know it happens um yeah like it, it's it's really gonna come down to how much kudo knows that matchup and what kind of brian we get that morning or afternoon is that afternoon? Afternoon. 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 afternoon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can always hope to see the best of the best of the players coming out, but sometimes they're on, having an off day. Top eight's a really bad day to have an off day, though. That's really bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, but it's the you don't worst. want it. Yeah. But, I mean, that only leaves one more matchup in the top eight, and that's Christy versus Smug. And personally, I, I, I voted against Smug to be getting into this top eight. I, I did not think they were going to eke out into it. But they, they, they did it, and now they have to fight Chris G. Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, and this is no disrespect to Smug, but we, I feel like I've not really seen him compete on these types of stages in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't surprised for them to make it out of pools to make the top 48. Oh, of but course. seeing them eke it out all the way up into this loser side top eight was a little bit of a surprise for me. And, I mean, the, the dub over, it was against Mono, yeah? Yeah. The dub over Mono. Uh, surprised me. If, if I recall correctly, Mono took that first game, and then Smug just, Smug just brought out that that intensity and that energy, and that that sort of almost cross-cut reversal super when Mono got himself in the Watch. corner to do an actual chunk of damage. Just what a crazy brolic move. Definitely uh, the Smug that I like to see, because their tournament uh, results recently have definitely been in favor of Mono. In fact, that's what happened at CEO, I believe. Um, mm. And Smog, so you get two types. You get the non-tournament type of Smog, and you get the serious Smog, the one that really, really is like ready, prepared, mm. ready for every person. Not, it's not about the matchup, it's about the person. He's really good at studying people. I think Shine and him have that ability where they can study people really well. Mm -hmm. I think when you get in a top eight spot, obviously you can drill down, you say, this is my path right through, and I gotta get yeah. through these people, especially if I'm on the loser side. We have these people to get through. Um, I think that's a very small, strong thing for Smoke. We saw that at Capcom Cup 2019. He's prepared, he's prepared for Bonchan, Smoke Bonchan. And that's because he's like, I know this matchup, I know this player, more importantly, and I'm actually prepared for them. A Smug like that on tournament time is a dangerous Smug. Super dangerous. And you, you, he's another one of those guys where you don't know what he's bringing. You don't know if he's bringing the boxer, you don't know if he's bringing the G. Mm -hmm. You don't, like, it, and especially when you don't get to see him as often as, as you'd like. He signed up for a bunch of tournaments and uh, just flat out didn't show up to him. So like, um, on top of registering twice for the whole event, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like always, it's awesome to see Smug back in the mix. It's awesome to see Smug being successful. Um, to me, a top eight for Smug is always a success. Um, but he's 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 also in in that that shine Mena. Uh, group where you know, like, it, let's, get, let's, let's get this yeah. win, man. Sure, this like, win. like, it can't always be Idom, it can't always be Punk, it can't always be you know, uh, international player. Like, you know, and they need to step up, you know. But then, like, Chris G, though, I think Chris G also, I know he entered a bunch of games. I think I saw him tweet out earlier that Street Fighter is the only game he top aided in 
Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's another one where it's like he keeps having these really deep runs. And he's a multi-game specialist. He has been for a really long time. But I feel like it's been a while since he's had this sort of abject dominance that he used to have. Uh, even, you know, in that last console generation of games. Yeah. He was, he was a, a, a sort of top three threat in like every game he touched and absolutely dictated the pace of Marvel 3. And he's continued to always be a threat. He's never not been relevant. But I feel like for all the top eights, I feel like it's really rare to see him break into that top three lately. I think it's just harder. I mean, you have more. I feel like the skill has gotten high, especially after, after COVID. And keeping up with games takes a lot of work. Even for someone like the most game specialist as him, as, as Yipes has said, part of the, the generation of miracles, if you're a no basket fan out there, you know, my anime friends, let's go. But definitely part of just like the, the very gifted group that can play making games. However, to stay solid with that stuff, you see a lot of work. It yeah. takes a lot of work to keep up. However, watching him play, I feel like he had really good footsies, really good uh, knowledge. Some of the knowledge wasn't there in some of the matchups. But he was aware enough to take it and move to top eight. I do think that this is not going to be an easy thing for Smug. Will Smug take it at the end of the day? Probably. I think Smug has an edge. Will it happen definitely? Uh, could he get it out? Will he make it further than bracket? I'm not sure. I mean, he did, go, he did get top eight at CEO previously, so I do think that there's a possibility for him to take it. It's not a Smug's going to take this because he's you know always ready. He's been playing 45 more, all that stuff like that. But... I think it's more Smug's favorite, but I can't cut, can never cut Christy at the your point. I think I think Christy is the ultimate dark horse. You like you mm-hmm. you're scared as hell that he's in your bracket. You're scared as hell that he's in your pool. Uh, he might just DQ himself, and you're scared for no reason. Right. And he might get fourth place in your favorite game, and he li- literally was practicing it two weeks before he he showed up. That's why. And my my man like. He, he's literally going off of just experience and just raw talent, and he he skips rocks with with first first place medals. Like it's it, it's, it's nothing to him. Like he he's 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 the guy showing up with no pressure on on his back, and like he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to prove anything to anybody. Sure. He doesn't have to beat Smug. But if that's he, not a hungry mentality. It's not, but he shows up as if he wants to win. Like, he's a competitor through and through. Right. But tomorrow, he's going to show up happy to just be competing. Sure. And Sometimes that, that's enough. Sometimes that's, that's the enough. scariest. Honest, in my opinion, that's the scariest human being on that's Earth. That's a very scary like, human being. Somebody with nothing to lose. <laughs> he's literally won everything under the sun for the game that he's best known for. It's what you play the tournaments too as well. I mean, I, yeah. I'm gonna, every game he's in her. I'm going to give it to Smug, but I won't be surprised if Chris edges him out. That's fairly believable. But now I, I do have to get kind of important with you guys here because Bunch already lost one bet this week to Brad. Let's see if we can get him to lose another one. Okay. Who are your guys' favorite to win the whole tournament? Cola said Kudo, but I don't actually believe him, so I'm going to have to have him say it again. Let me say it again. I'll say Kudo. I know. I. I. I I'm just, maybe I'm being a little contrarian, but I think this might be Kudo's win, man. How much? I think this might be How Kudo's much? win. How much? Yeah. Let's put a ten on it. Who, but but it depends on who you bet. Who you betting for? Man, I'm gonna say I don't. Of course, I'm gonna say I don't. <laughs> no, 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 so no, no, no. Right, right, right. You're so weak. No, no. Bro. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I'm going against the grain. No, 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 no. My my brain is I don't. My I don't. heart shine every time. Shine every shine time. Shine every time. Shine. Oh, we're doing a heart and I, so we can do all nah, that. Nah, nah, we have two that. picks. All right, I got, I got, I got a pick. pick. Yeah, you got, got a pick. pick. Before I get to. Shine. Shine? You going to say shine? Shine from losers. I say kudo. Shine. Also up. in losers. Shine going to okay. blow it. Shine have won the losers before. Oh, no, kudos in losers. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, people have won the no. losers before. Who's your pick? I don't know. Man, y'all saw we safe. Saw we, yo, this safe. man is safe. It's safe. not about it's not about safe. Safety about first. Safe. Look, Kudo, I'm giving you Kudo second place. My man got a life jacket. I'm giving you Kudo God. second place. Let me tell you why. Talk Kudo, to Kudo has to get past Brian. Okay. Then past the loser of Shine Mena. Okay. Then past whoever wins on the other side to presumably get to because I assume Idom's going to be sitting on the winner side of Grands. Or Puck. No. Wow. Okay. Okay. If that happens either way, do you think if, if Punk, Punk if through? Punk beats Idom, then then I have no idea what this bracket is going to be like. <laughs> but my understanding of this bracket is predicated on that I have every expectation that Idom is going to be. Punk. I would say I guess that's my second pick, very close second. Pick. I believe in Kudo right now because of the way he's playing and that hunger that he's got. I feel like 
It's one of those like one of those moments, a little story that just feels like it no, should happen. No, I get it. I get it. You so know, it feels me, like it should happen. I I think I think Kudo only wins this tournament if he gets through Idom. No one is gonna get through Idom for him. Of course. You know what's absolutely that? mad like mad crazy? Is that not one of us said yo punk. The only reason I wanna say punk is to be honest, I'm gonna be real. I'm tired of saying picks. I believe in Kudo this time. Let's go. I think Kudo can do it. Yeah, so there you guys have it. Brad with the most boringest of boring picks. The safest. When I'm right, this y'all are gonna sleep, talk all the shit you want. I'm gonna sleep, be right. Safety first, then team sleep. right here. The, the full on OSHA safety pick there from Brad. But. <laughs> He could be right, we don't know. But we're going to be right. finding out tomorrow all on twitch.tv slash CEO Gaming. It's going to be in the ring. I hope the players have their top eight entrances already picked out. I hope they're taking tonight to plan them out. But you guys are just going to have to wait and see. I don't know what time it is, so hopefully you guys do. I don't know either. It'll I be... I'm going to superimpose it. Don't worry. It'll, Editor Doc will take care of it. You guys will be good. And wait, 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 wait. it will be 100% fun. I'm trying to pull it up. Speed run. Speed run the end. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash CEO Gaming. Thank you. Good night. No!